Lael Gordon treats each cabinet he builds like an extended experiment. Recently, he's been innovating with what he calls prismatic parquetry. Veneer patterns created with a single species of wood, their contrast supplied simply by shifting the orientation of the grain. Gordon, who lives in southern Alaska, is a math teacher at a technical college and works wood in a one-car garage on his days off. He lays out his parquetry patterns in a CAD program, carefully marking the grain direction needed on each tile of veneer. Depending on which way he's oriented the grain, some tiles appear light, others dark. In diffuse lighting conditions, the same pattern can virtually disappear. Gordon is partial to Douglas fir, which he cuts so it's perfectly quarter sawn, providing the strong, straight, horizontal lines of the piece. But he cuts through the primary cells of the wood on an angle so that they reflect light differently, depending on which way they're turned. After precisely laying out a pattern, Gordon uses a router jig to trim the tiles of veneer to width, and a table saw jig to cut them to length. He glues the tiles into strips, and then edge glues the strips into panels, revealing the whole pattern. Then it's into the veneer press, where the panels are glued to a plywood substrate. And after many months of evenings and weekends, the finished cabinet emerges. Seven years ago, Gordon took a year off from teaching to attend the Inside Passage School of Fine Woodworking near Vancouver, British Columbia. With a curriculum and a passion derived from James Krenov's teaching, Inside Passage offered Gordon an immersive experience that he calls transformational. In the second half of his year there, Gordon began experimenting with prismatic parquetry, embellishing a cabinet with a geometric pattern of shop-sawn hemlock veneer. Gordon loved his year at Inside Passage, and afterward he considered launching a career as a furniture maker. But he soon recognized that, for him, the great pleasure in working wood lay in delving as deeply as possible into new techniques with each piece that he made. How would that be possible if he were trying to make a living at the same time? He decided to return to teaching and devote his spare time to woodworking. Gordon has since experimented with circular patterns of prismatic parquetry, building a wall cabinet and a box. More recently, he's been investigating another direction, working with the graphics of end grain. He started by gluing maple veneers around a block of Douglas fir, which he cut into end grain slices, then glued the slices into sheets. Gordon has always been fond of George Nakashima's live edge work for the way it links the finished piece of furniture to the living tree. He wanted to do something similar, but without resorting to live edge slabs. When he found a downed Sitka spruce trunk with a branch coming off it, he used a chainsaw, a handsaw, a sawzall, and a router to cut a slice of veneer from it and decorated the doors of this cabinet with it. Gordon shares his compact shop with a hen named B. And Gordon himself continues to hatch impressive ideas there in his spare time. Here's hoping, Lael, that you don't quit your day job. Hey YouTube, if you liked that video, click the thumbs up button. If you really like that video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like that video, head on over to findwoodworking.com where you're going to get over 40 years of the world's best woodworking tips, tricks, and projects. Findwoodworking.com members get full access to the website. That's over 50 of our long form video workshop series and hundreds of articles from the pages of Find Woodworking Magazine. Head on over and check it out today.